Ask Reddit by Routine Astronaut 182. What's something attractive people can do, that ugly people can't? Deleted. Jim Gaffigan had a bit on this. If an attractive stranger smiles at you, you think oh, they're nice. If an ugly stranger smiles at you, you think ugh, what do they want? Anyone can ask, but attractive people are so much more likely to get help from strangers. Just a sad little twisted fact of life. There was a question on Reddit years ago about, ugly people, what's it like? One woman said something which stuck with me waiters often lose my order. Deleted. Oh my god the face tattoo guy. He ended up with a major modeling contract and walking for a ton of designers. I'm pretty sure when his career exploded he divorced his wife baby mama. Edit autocorrect. Get good tips as a waitress waiter without really trying. Definitely. My cousin is good looking and she makes like $90 an hour as a waitress at freaking smoky bones. I have a good looking business partner. We are constantly delegating tasks based on whether we need Sasquatch or Captain America. Sounds like the makings of an entertaining sitcom. I've had one of my friends get rejected because the girl found the best friend of that guy, me, to be too ugly. My friend got rejected because I'm ugly. Sounds like he dodged a bullet. Go out broke and come home drunk. Us uglies go out drunk and come home broke. Work at a Berkram B in Fitch. The owner literally said they don't hire ugly people. That used to be the hot test, ask for a job application there or at Hollister. If they said they weren't hiring right now, that basically means you aren't attractive enough. Singer artist. Even though looks have nothing to do with talent. Makes me wonder how many amazing voices are not being heard because a record company old fat dudes don't think the artist is hot. Reminds me of a bumper sticker that made me laugh. Music was better when ugly people were allowed to make it. People will go completely out of their way to do things for them. Moving. Something broke. Card declined. Someone will help them. Reminds me of the John Hamm episodes of 30 Rock where he was unaware of the bubble he lived in because he looks like a cartoon pilot. Yeah, it's called the halo effect. We tend to assume attractive people are nicer and smarter. Didn't someone make a fake dating profile where he had that he couldn't legally be around children and women with kids still messaged him? Get out of prison for a felony, immediately get a modeling contract and start dating an heiress. Oh hey, I remember that dude. Deleted. Yes. This is a big one. I remember once speaking to a model friend of a friend at a party. Like a 10 stroke 10 beautiful girl. She was complaining cause her dating life was a bit slow recently and she didn't understand what she was doing wrong. It turns out there were only about 5 or 6 guys actively courting her at that time 5 or 6 dudes were literally texting, or calling her to hang out and she just wasn't into any of them, so that meant her dating life was bad. I tried to explain to her that when a regular person's dating life was bad, it meant nobody was calling or texting. Literally nobody. She truly did not understand how that was possible. I also told her that I once didn't have sex for a whole year cause I couldn't find anyone who would go out with me and she literally gasped and covered her mouth in shock like she's witnessed a murder. I gave her a shrug and it's just another Tuesday for me look. A girl just drove 3 hours to fuck my roommate. They never really spoke or met before this. Blew my mind. Jesus. What does your roommate look like? I wouldn't know. I am handsome. Source, my mom. The both of us are pretty handsome. Source, our grandmas. Flirt without cringe backlash. I was going to say this. Flirting in general is just seen as charming and playful whether the person is into it or not. 
I dated an extremely attractive charismatic man once. It was genuinely scary what he could pull off, he could definitely be a cult leader. Now when I go on dates if I see the charisma manipulating situations it's an instant no. Shit's scary. Can confirm. My ex would drink himself stupid at bars and still get served while blackout. Very scary. Edit. Blackout as in couldn't form sentences. He just had to smile and wink to get top ups. Receive the fastest service from bartenders. Cut lines. Have prospective employers see potential and attain jobs without being totally qualified. I don't let anyone cut a line in front of me, no matter how attractive they are. Fuck you, you can wait like the rest of us. Ask for help and get help. I'm guessing they can't melt unseen into a crowd like a less attractive person can. Being invisible is my secret power. Now if you ugly and tall you can't even do that. Talk to new people in public particularly at bars and the like. I have been fit and I have been fat. Fit me talk to whomever, whenever without incident and generally with good results. Fat me doing the same equal tense body language, and awkward, stunted interactions. Same here. Shredded me gets a women waiting list. Fat me gets a sorry, I'm in a hurry. Dressing bad. Attractive people can wear literal rags and look go. Ugly people have to dress to the nine just to have a chance. I have a friend who legit absurdly attractive 6 feet 3 inches, ripped, wore vet. When we were in our 20s I remember being out at the bar with him. He was so drunk he could barely stand, was wearing dirty clothes that he mowed the lawn with that day, yet had a literal line of women waiting to talk to him. Dull and boring personalities. I miss my pet hamster Larry. Rip Larry. Knew a guy in high school who was majorly obese, close to 400 pounds. He lost weight and legit looked like a model. But his self esteem was so shot that he couldn't get women. Would freeze up and sabotage any girl that gave him attention. Ah yes one must lose the fat on your body and in your mind. Hacker therapy. It ain't fair. Be treated nicely by everyone else. Pretty much anything. I am more interested in what ugly people can get away with that attractive people can't. Being left alone. Workplace dating. https colon slash 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 pxuukyiauc8 close bracket. I've noticed that people are more patient with my stutter. My sister's boyfriend is not conventionally attractive and he stutters too. Some people just outright ignore him. Pisses me off that double standard exists. In general, get the benefit of the doubt. Applies to so many situations. Make a mistake. Oh everyone makes a mistake sometimes. Acting mean. They're probably having a bad day. Something unfortunate happens to them. Why do bad things happen to good people? Not get called a creep or weirdo for flirting or trying to chat to someone. I had a friend in high school get called to the office because he walked past a girl and said hi and she claimed to feel violated. He's not even that unattractive he just had no confidence at all.